Hola, bienvenidos a mi clase de español. Soy señora Compton, la maestra de español de sus hijos. I'm Angela Compton, and I'm your son or daughter's Spanish teacher. Unfortunately, I cannot be at Homeless Southeastern Junior High tonight, um, since I teach also at South Fisher Junior High, and the schedule's conflicted. But this way, at least you can um, to see who I am, and uh, get a feel for what the class is like and what the expectations are. So this is called Spanish Honors One Prep. It uh, is a very rigorous course. Uh, it's, it's not even the same class as the first year class taught at uh, either of the high schools. It's, it's a little faster pace. There's more vocabulary. Uh, in general, it's, it's just a, a little bit more challenging. Uh, but most students find this class um, to be um, one of their favorite classes of the day. It, it moves very quickly. We work from the beginning of class to the very end and, and do a variety acti of activities um, to try to, to learn the language. We do skits, um, we'll do listening activities, um, lots of partner work. Sometimes uh, we'll spend the entire class period in Spanish where the students can't speak in English, and, and I won't either. That's not really until second semester. Um, but for now, it'll be maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes of that once in a while. Um, the kids are really quiet on those days. But they then start to realize that it's not something to play with, it's really a language. And um, you know, the more that they get accustomed to me speaking Spanish and hearing it, then the more at ease that they will get. So it, it's baby steps. And, and the, the goal of this class is to prepare the students for honors to prep. Uh, and then eventually the idea is that they will take Spanish AP. Not all students do that, and not all students take uh, second year honors. There's also regular honors too, uh, as well. So it's whatever best fits um, the student's needs. But that's the, the goal, for them to take this in eighth grade. Okay. Um, some of the, the details, of course, there are two categories for the grades. 85% um, of the grade is, is based on assessments, so quizzes and tests, and we'll have quizzes pretty frequently. Um, also, there'll be listening activities um, and sometimes video activities where they fill out um, a sheet that goes along with the video, and sometimes they take it for a grade, and sometimes they don't. Then the other 15% of their grade is daily work, that's class participation, and I, I do give them a grade on that. There's a rubric um, just for foreign language classes for participation, and you'll find that on Blackboard. It's a very lenient rubric, uh, but the, the idea of giving them a grade for participation is to encourage everybody to try to say something every day. And, and even if they don't raise their hand, I'll, I'll call them in anyway. Because I'm trying to, to keep them as engaged in the class as possible. We're trying to learn a new language in about 42 minutes. So the participation is really to just encourage them to stay actively involved. If you um, happen to be absent, then they, um, the student can make up work after school or um, certainly during SLT. It's just in the morning, I won't be able to um, be here since I teach at Fisher Shaking High. Also, um, if you know, your son or daughter needs extra help, then I will um, be available after school uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, of course, they can get help during SLT, but they want a little bit more help uh, or they're not available during SLT than Tuesday after school or some other special arrangement. Okay? As far as exams, there will be two semester exams, one at the end of each semester, obviously, and then there will be two nine-week exams. Um, then we'll have a, a myriad of, of quizzes and once in a while a unit test, but I give them fair warning on the quizzes and the tests between three to four days and sometimes more notice than that. So they'll know what to expect and then I will tell them what to expect on the quiz as well.
Okay. Um, I encourage them to use Spanish outside of class. Uh, if you go to a Hispanic restaurant and uh, once they know enough, um, they can start to order in Spanish and uh, come back the next day and tell me about that and I'll give them uh, participation points for doing that. I like to um, stay in touch with the kids as much as possible you know, in case they have questions. You know, they didn't realize they had until after they get home. Um, so they can always send me an email. Um, I check that really frequently in the evenings. And um, I like to have the um, availability to communicate with them too. So I use um, a program called Remind101.com. And on the handout that you have, it has directions for how to sign up for that. And I handed those out in class on Monday. But what it is, it's sort of like Skyler when you um, receive a message, but you cannot text back. And I don't use it every day. Uh, I just send out reminders to bring props for their skit the next day, or if there's some sort of change on the homework, um, or a reminder about a quiz. And I'm going to offer, as an incentive, offer five participation points right off the bat if they sign up for that by um, next Monday. Um, not make it work the grade, uh, a homework grade, but participation points, because I really think it's helpful um, if they sign up, because then if they don't, they may miss out on something important. Okay. Um, be sure that you check Skyward frequently, and stay updated on um, what your center daughter's grade is, and, uh, in case you have any questions. You know, the, the biggest thing that um, always comes up every year is if someone is struggling, you know, what can they do to improve their grade or you know, how can they learn the material? Because honestly, about the time that we get done with a vocabulary list and the students, well, let me back up, about the time the students get used to the words that we're working on, then we're on to another lesson and they haven't maybe completely absorbed what we just worked on. So it requires a fair amount of time outside of class, um, 15 minutes uh, a day, and that would be in addition to homework. Studying their flashcards is for every lesson that we do, they'll be making flashcards. So studying their flashcards every evening, um, using the websites that I have on this handout as a suggestion, um, and classzone.com is a great one. It goes with the textbook. Um, Quizlet is terrific. Uh, it's interactive flashcards, and you can use those on a mobile device. Quantumgamels.com is another really good one um, that I'll use frequently, and I'll set up an account for the kids on that. Uh, and then studyspanish.com is really good too for grammar practice. I use. Um, I will be using once we get the setup on Blackboard. It's not everything's quite ready yet, but it will be soon. Um, but on Blackboard, this is what you'll find for my class. I always post the daily homework on the calendar, and I will post links to um, the websites that I just mentioned, the ones that I think are most useful to the students. Um, the online text will be on there. That's through classzone.com. The rubric for the participation will be on there. Any PowerPoints we do in class, notes, handouts, worksheets, pretty much anything that I give to them in class, I will upload to Blackboard. And a uh, Spanish computer symbol chart um, for use with a computer when they're typing up some sort of um, project. Curriculum map, my management plan, and um, eventually I'll have some discussion forums up there too, but it will be just in Spanish. So um, Blackboard will be a really good resource for them to you know, pick up something like if they were absent, they can check the calendar, they can print off notes, if they've lost something, what have you. Um, and then just again, these are the, the websites that I mentioned, um, classzone.com. It has a lot of practice activities on it for grammar, for vocabulary. It has the listening activities on it that we do in class. Plus, they could um, do others that, that we won't do in class for extra practice. There are um, video vignettes on there, most of which we'll do in class. Um, but
but if they're absent, that would be a place to go to make that up. Quizlet.com, you can use that for any subject. Um, but I have flashcards set up for them, interactive flashcards for them um, for our vocabulary lessons. ConoGables.com is great for drilling practice and vocabulary. It forces them to spell things correctly, which they will have to know how to do with the accent marks. And grammar practice. Their studyspanish.com has some great grammar tutorials on it. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to send me an email or give me a call at Camels Community Southeastern Junior High. Gracias.